Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I decided to break my big Florida Gulf Coast quilt store shopping haul into two parts. And the first part is going to be what we actually picked up on the tour. And then the next part will be what came in here to the house while we were gone. So I just want to kind of quickly go through this stuff. I've got just so many cool things to show you guys and uh, I'm really excited about it. I got a couple of announcements first. June 30th and July 1st. I will be in the All Brands booth at the American Sewing Guild Conference in San Antonio, Texas at the Marriott River Center. So if you are down there and you get a chance, please come by and say hi. I would love to see you. And that's kind of a local stop for me, not too far from where I live. So I'm real happy to be doing that with all brands. That was very nice of them to ask me. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I was selected to be part of the quilting pool of quilt alongs that are being done by the Fat Quarter Shop for the rest of 2022 and 2023. I'm just so excited for that. I'm so honored. I have no clue what kind of projects they're going to do. It could be part of their make a wish uh, donation thing that they do or whatever, but I'm just super excited about that. And I want to thank the Fat Quarter Shop very much for their trust. <laughs> um, it's going to be a lot of fun and I will bring you guys with me along the way for whichever one I happen to participate in. So more to come on that. Also, I'm going to be doing another Designs and Machine Embroidery event for Beyond Monograms on June 17th. That's in two weeks from today. There's free registration and I really encourage you guys to go ahead and join that. It, it's going to run from 11 to 12.30 on June 17th, on Friday, June 17th. And if you can't make it that day, you can watch it for up to 48 hours after the event. Now, um, this is a great time to, if you've been thinking about getting any magnetic hoops or you need stabilizers or the bobbins or the, the blue rubber thing, the <laughs> mat, whatever you guys, this is an opportunity. Hold off on getting them until you go to the event because they always offer special pricing at the event and usually there's a code for free shipping. I will be hosting the event with uh, the instructor, Ashley Jones. She is amazing and her knowledge is just incredible. And so she's gonna be telling us all kinds of stuff about this. And even if you just attend just to get extra little tidbits of knowledge, if you're a beginner embroiderer, I really recommend that you sign up for this and just kind of listen in and figure out. You'll be surprised what little tidbits you pick up. And it's free and you get a free monogram frame design uh, as, uh, just for attending. So that'll be a lot of fun. Again, that's June 17th from 11 to 12.30. And if you cannot make it, you can watch it for up to 48 hours afterwards. Okay, so let's get to what I purchased in addition to the other part that I showed already, I'll put a link up here to that part of the haul. Y'all, It's I got a little bit, so just grab a cup, sit back, and uh, let's do some virtual shop hopping, okay? One of the stops I made in Florida was Inspire Quilting in Plant City. I just love that shop. I thought it was so amazing. They, there's, you just walk in there. I'll put a link to that right here. And you walk in there and you're just like, where do I start? Oh my goodness. The shop just goes on and on and on. You, you can spend hours in there and not see everything. It's just incredible. They're also a brother dealer. So if you are in the area and in the market for a brother machine, then please stop in and consider Inspire Quilting in Plant City. Okay. One of the panels I saw there that I really liked, it is called So Happy by Bridget Highland for Zen Chic for Moda. And I really like this. This is kind of a canvas, 
okay I'll put the title of it right here so you can see this is so happy I've got threads on it as usual this is really cool it has crafting each day keeps the crazy away and we have working on my PhD those are projects half done <laughs> we have smile with a camera We have just so happy. Quilting takes me to my happy place. And chin up, buttercup, everything's gonna be okay. That cute. So this, again, is like a canvas. It's not quilting cotton, it's, it's like a canvas. And I thought that I could take a couple of these little panels and maybe make a tote bag out of it. Just a simple tote, nothing fancy. So that'll be kind of cool. And then you could also do a couple of pillows with the long one. You could do a pillow with this on one side and this on the back, just to sit in a chair in your sewing area. I think that's so cute. And for the inside of the bag, I also chose, this is also by uh, Zen Chic, and it is part of Hello Winter Time to Get Cozy line, okay, for uh, Zen Chic for Moda. It's got the same black and gold and tans in it. And I thought it would make a nice lining for a bag. So I got, I got that too, just, uh, just to put it together. So I think that'll look really good. And another thing I did that I don't normally do is buy a pattern that requires a special ruler. And I normally don't do that, but I fell in love with the pattern first and had them kitted up for me. They had kits and they were out, so they kitted it up for me. Then I found out it needs a special ruler for the curves. So this is from So Kind of Wonderful, and the pattern is called Dreamy Dan. Let me put this under here so I can hit the mark. Dreamy Dan, and this guy was wrapped around the pole in the store, and I just loved it. I thought it was just so cool. But in order to make these curves right here on, on the skirting for him, you have to have the Wonder Curve ruler from So Kind of Wonderful. So it has the curve marks in it. Again, I normally don't do that. I, I am not a fan of specialty rulers, but so yeah, see, look at this. I'll show you, see how it is? You can't really see it that well here on this side, but there's your different, it has the alignment lines you need for your curves. And this curve is not real um, sharp. It's not a sharp curve. I think I can swing it on the sewing machine. Just lower your stitch length a little bit, just like when you're doing curves on a garment. So yeah, got that. And I am making Dreamy Dan. He's gonna hang in my house at the coast. I think he'll be pretty cool. At the coast right now, I have a, seashell thing that's behind me in my living room. I'm gonna hang Dreamy Dan there. So I think that'll be cool. And then all the fabric that went with him. Okay, so let's see. A lot of Tula stuff came. They did not have all of the fabrics for it. So they kind of curated uh, some for me. But yes, a lot of Tula fabrics is what they chose. And it's fine, I don't care. It'll look great. All of these fabrics are gonna make up Dreamy Dan. Back out a little bit so you can see better. But yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. My husband's gonna be like, what's that pink thing hanging in the living room? <laughs> hey, it's a flamingo, and we have pink flamingos down in Port Carmel. Okay, so we'll give this a try. Okay, also at Inspire, so I had told y'all a couple of weeks ago before we left on our trip that I had gotten a fat quarter bundle from, is a new line from Deb Strain and it's called Effie's Woods. Well, I did not realize that there was a panel to go with Effie's Woods and I found it on our trip. Look, let me flip this over. Look at this. Super, super sweet. You are loved, be kind, be wise. Be yourself. What does that say? Be clever. Be brave.
be curious. You are cherished. How sweet is this? This is adorable. I think this is just fabulous. So there's the panel that goes with that. And then I bought some additional fabrics for a border on it, a couple of other things. I, I'll make, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. We'll figure all that out. I don't even know that these were designed to go with it, but they sure do. Anyway, and then I picked up this fabric for the backing. And I've had this one in the, the green so and the tan. I just love this line, you guys. I just absolutely love it. But this is going to be the back of this wall hanging. So I'll probably do it and send it to my son. Uh, they can hang it in their church. If the ladies that work the decorations there <laughs> feel inclined. <laughs> but it's good. It'll go there. That'd be real cute in a nursery, wouldn't it? All right, also from Inspire Quilting, somebody had made this up for their sewing room and posted it in, I think it was Cheryl Hernandez in our um, Facebook group. I think Sherry made this, I think it was. If I'm wrong, sorry about that, Sherry. It is called She Who Sews. See this? Let me zoom in so you can see. And it's got that lady Weird, I don't know, is that kind of a steampunk thing? I'm totally not savvy with Steve, steampunk at all, but I think it is. So even though it's kind of steampunky, don't you think that got, that this would look very cool in the sewing room around Halloween? I think it's neat. So let me see here. She who sews, there it is, look at that. It's very cool. It was the, it was the last kit that they had of this, that is so, this is totally out of my comfort zone, you guys, but this is so cool. I like it, very, very neat. And I mean, it would look good in any sewing room, actually. I think it looks very cool. And then it comes with the, it comes with this for a backing, with the words, and it has this for a border. And oh, it's from Riley Blake. Machine made, M-A-I-D, machine made by Riley Blake. That's who makes this, okay? And yeah, it comes with the pattern. And this is a pattern, it's a free pattern from Riley Blake. So that's very cool. You know, I encourage you guys, especially you new quilters, go out to the distributor, the fabric distributors websites, Riley Blake, Moda, uh, Benartex, you name it they all have free patterns out there. And what you can do is look for patterns that have like a panel, okay? They have tons of patterns for panels. Oh, it comes with this too. That's cool. So if you have a panel and you're not sure what to do with it, just go to their website and just look, uh, look for free patterns and they'll give you measurements and all kinds of stuff. And then you can take that and apply that to the fabric that you have on hand and get your projects done. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like this is gonna be the binding. So that's cool, that's very neat. Very, very uh, cool. I might have to get this done this weekend. We're fixing to take off and go to the coast. And um, like I haven't been gone enough. But this will be pretty cool to put together. The neat thing about doing projects like this is that they are quick and easy because it's just straight seams. You cannot go wrong. Sew your pieces down the sides and sew your piece across the top and the bottom. There's your first border, add a border, add a border, add a border. Next thing you know, you've got a nice quilt wall hanging or a nice quilt. It's just, it's great. Panels are a great way to start quilting if you are brand new to quilting. So I, I highly encourage all of you to go give that a try. When I was at the Sewing and Training Center in Florida, I picked up these flip-flops, okay? Not realizing that they were part of a line that has this panel. This says, I love panels, you guys. Beach dreams, sunshine, shorelines, ocean breeze, salty air, no worries, lazy days, ocean waves. 
So this is part of the same line, and I got this panel at Calico Station in Florida, in Orange Park, Florida. So I got different pieces to the same line at different stores. So sometimes you can't get it all in one place. I saw this panel and I said, oh, I love that panel. I want to get that. Yeah, the, and then the store owner says, well, you already have the sandals. And I was like, oh, they're from the same line. Duh. <laughs> so again, you know, just add something to the side of this and there's my backing and very, very nice, right? Very nice. Okay, so that was it for Inspire Quilting. That's, I spent some time in there, right? Then when I was at the Sewing and Training Center, they had this hanging on the wall. Again, it is a free pattern from the designer called Hello Fall. This is for Benertex. And this picture does not do it justice. That's one of the things too, when you look at these patterns and quilt uh, patterns on these websites, Sometimes it, it just doesn't do it justice. This is just adorable and I'm looking forward to putting this together for my fall uh, wall hanging that'll go behind me when I'm doing my videos. So I thought it was just so pretty. Let me pull it out here and let you take a look. Here's the panel. Look at that rabbit. And how about that owl? Look at him. Isn't that cool? Definitely very, very nice. So there's a squirrel, a rabbit. Hello, fall. Let's stay home. Here's your squirrel. And your pumpkin right there. Very cool. And then for an inner border, I chose this uh, deep, it's a dark turquoise with the bright yellow and orange and then uh, leaves and then also this one is going to be same pattern um, I might put a solid in between them I guess I can tell now in the camera I probably have to but uh, I'll put like a bright let me get I know what I want to use how about this I got a really nice grunge look at that won't that look good yeah so we'll do like this. This is called auditioning fabric. How about that? That looks good, doesn't it? That looks much better. Anyway, this is going to be the binding and this will be an outer border. So I guess this will be an inner border and then an outer border. Boy, that'll look great. Yep. Very nice. That line is called Hello Fall by Jessica Flick for Benertex. The way the pattern has it shows a keyboard border with the brown in the cornerstones corner block like that i wasn't able to find i wanted to get like a jelly roll and then do this with jelly roll strips i couldn't find one see so you can do all kinds of stuff with these things that'll be really pretty i really like that when i was at the sewing and training center a lady came in and she was had a little purse and it was just adorable and it was a class that they had put on. This pattern is called Nantucket Summer. Let me zoom in. This is from Nantucket Summer for Moda, okay? And they made this little bag. You can't really see it that well here, but they made this little bag. And this lady had made it out of, and it's a, it's a pattern for mini charms. So this lady had made it out of the C and Me mini charm packs. So I grabbed the C and Me mini charms. Very cute, isn't that adorable? I love it. And I'm gonna make that little bag there. So that's cool. She was just carrying it like a purse. I loved it. I said, this is a free pattern from Moda too. You know, these stores are great by sharing these patterns with you guys. And then they put out examples and classes and give you uh, inspiration to be able to make your own. So very cute. Okay, and then it was after we got back, I went to my local quilt store, Scrappy Quilter in Shirts, Texas, and this grunge that I was showing you I'm gonna use in that fall wall hanging, I actually changed my mind on the backing for my husband, Keith. He made this fox quilt that my new subscribers, if you haven't seen it yet, 
This is from a pattern by a company called Legit Kits, and it's his very first quilt. And he, it's a paper pieced uh, quilt. So this is called Autumn the Fox. I don't know if you can see it. I went ahead and picked up this grunge to go with it. I think it's going to look amazing. It just, everything on it just works with the greens and the oranges and the reds and it just works a lot better. So I'm really happy to have found this. So I got that at Scrappy Quilter. Also at Scrappy, I picked up a kit that they had for Halloween because we're not that far away. <laughs> it's crazy. And they had a sample hanging in the store. I just absolutely loved it. It is called uh, Witch Please Trick or Treat. And it's super cute. Let me grab the pattern out of here. We got two, a whole lot of plastic. So these circles are appliqued on there, raw edge applique. Same with the spiders. The piecing is done here in the border. And I will cut out all of these pieces with my scan and cut for the letters and all of that. And the fabric they curated for it is this beautiful orange with the stars yellow with stars black with stars purple with stars lime green with stars and a white on white with stars so they're all the same fabrics so i'll be scanning in the paper pattern into the scan and cut and then cut out all the letters and then send that cut file to simply applique or BES4 software and turn it into an applique embroidery file. So making it easy, making it very easy. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to be able to do that. Also I wanted to let you know, I will be making the Christmas cross wall hanging. It's an embroidery design from Sweet Pea. I'm gonna be doing that in October and I'll put a link below and if you want to do it with me, then uh, please grab it and we will do that as an embroider along in October. I think that's going to be very, very pretty. I've done a, a cross, Easter cross with uh, theirs before. These are beautiful patterns. They turn out very nice. So if you are interested in having a Christmas cross, the poinsettias are so pretty. But anyway, yeah, I will be doing that in October. That's part one. I've got a whole cubby down here just loaded, loaded up with stuff to show you for part two. Okay, you guys, that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.